All right. We're going. We're live. Okay. Um, we're going to go through a scenario with Miss LT. Hello, how are, how are we feeling? I'm feeling real good. It, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure seeing you um, thrive. Oh, Not just survive, but thrive. Uh, despite your... Um, anxiety sometimes <laughs> it it like you you shine through you, you you are a a mentor for your peers oh um and you try to hold space for your peers and i look forward to you crushing this current scenario and uh and and to be another example for future classes <laughs> thank you i'm blushing <laughs> Uh, we got 12 minutes on the clock. Okay. LT's got her um, template for her PCR going. Yeah, I sure do. Um, so everyone just pay attention. Like I said, uh, as usual, uh, try to be active and, and engage with the video. Pause when you feel like LT is about to give a response and see if LT's response matches your response as you're navigating the patient assessment. Um, so LT, you are... Dispatch to the bus stop, um, the intersection, for an individual uh, that's behaving erratically, irate, and bizarre. Okay. Go ahead. All right. I have my appropriate BSI on, which are my gloves. Is my scene safe? Your scene is safe. Um, PD's actually on the scene, and they called you. Okay, perfect. Uh, so... As of right now, we can't determine, but I'm going to say a nature of illness just to be safe. Okay. Uh, you can confirm I have one patient. Yeah. Uh, the one patient is uh, sitting on the ground mm -hmm. um, in the, the, right next to the cop, and uh, they're, they're just rocking back and forth. They're kind of holding their hands and rocking back and forth. Okay, perfect. Just, just one patient. Uh, and for additional resources, we, I would consider ALS. Okay. All right. So I'll arrive on scene. Hi, I'm Latai. I'm your EMT today. Uh, can I have your name, age, and sex assigned at birth? Yeah. Um, they say that they are a male. Their name is Michael. And um, that uh, they're, they're, they're confused as to why you're here. They're... they're but and and when you do that, you hear, you hear some some slurring of their speech. Um, you you notice uh, visually um, that they're diaphoretic, kind of kind of just un unkept. Mm -hmm. um, you notice some incontinence. So you you notice the smell of of an odor of urine, as well as an odor of uh, like whiskey. Okay. Yeah. All right, so... And they, um, what did I say? They um, I, they say that they're 52 years old. 52, yeah. perfect. All right, so I don't see any apparent life threats. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask, uh, what's going on today, Michael? Is that okay if I call you that? Um, yeah, you can call me call me uh, Straight Shooter Mike. Okay, Straight Shooter Mike. All right, Straight Shooter Mike, what's going on today? Nothing. Why? T you you tell me. The, the, the cops told me I'm, I'm not acting right. I feel like I'm perfectly fine. Okay, no problem. So, uh, straight shooter, Mike, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Is that okay with you? Sure. All right. Do you know who you are? Straight shooter, Mike. All right. Do you know where we are right now? We're, uh, we're in my hometown, Chicago. Okay. Do you know the year? No idea. Is it, is it 2022? All right. And then do you know the day, today's day? Is it Monday? Okay. It's not Monday. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to say that he's one over four because he did get Chicago right. Eh, yeah, kind of, so we're just going to give him that. Okay. All right, and so uh, we don't have to consider stabilization of the spine. And why not? Uh, because it doesn't seem any trauma was involved. Okay. And uh, he does he look sick? I will say he looks sick based on the information. Yeah, he's he's kind of rocking back and forth. He's kind of itching his arms a little bit here and there, but it, and it's like it's hard for him to kind of like lock in on you. And he's, <laughs> his thoughts are a little all over the place, a little tangential. Mm -hmm. His attention's kind of going left and right. He's kind of like looking at cars passing by. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and no major bleeds. No major bleeds. All right. And his airway seems to be padding because he's talking. It sounds free of obstruction. You don't hear any abnormal airway sounds. Okay, perfect. Uh, can I have my title volume? Adequate. Relative rate of breathing? Normal. Respiration pattern? Regular. 
Uh, no accessory muscle use. Not We're present. Um, SBL2? Uh, currently 92. Uh, my lung sounds? Lung sounds are clear bilaterally. All right. So since he's at a 92, I'm going to say he's in mild respiratory distress. Uh, so I will put him on a nasal cannula at six liters per minute. Okay. All right. Um, can I have my skin color? Um, pale. Uh, temp? Um, temp is uh, warm. And then my moisture. You said um, Mitch is sweaty earlier. Yeah, Diaphoretic. he's he's a little he's a little sweaty, um, but more like more like oily, like like cause due to his unkempt nature. Okay, um, and then can I have my pulse strength? Pulse strength is strong. Pulse rate? Uh, slightly fast. Okay, regular or regular? Regular. Um, and are they equal? They are equal. And my cap refill under two seconds. All right, and based on this. Uh, he's pale. Uh, we kind of want to have that color comes in, uh, but he's warm and sweaty. So I would say this is a sign of shock. Okay. Um, so I'm going to keep him on this oxygen. Okay. Um, other than that, then we don't have to keep him warm because he's already warm. And then he's just oily because being unkept. Um, and then no probable hypo or hypothermia. Uh, not at this time. Uh, and then we're going to transport. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's currently like uh, 68 degrees outside, and uh, he's not overtly cold or hot. Okay, yeah. perfect. Um, so, was this sudden, or has this been progressing? So, And you said you're going to bring him into the ambulance? Yes. Okay. Um, this bystanders say it looked pretty sudden, but you know, they, no one has really seen the entire progression. Okay. Um, so... And, the, and, and what would your next question be? Uh does anything make it better or worse so the cops noticing that it, it's kind of progressively getting worse okay. um, as far as his um, bizarre behavior okay and uh do, can you describe like what's going on like the quality of it um t tangential thoughts unable to hold their attention um and uh and then maybe thoughts of self-harm potentially okay. All right, and do you see this, like, radiating anywhere else? No, just kind of generically. Okay, and can you, like, kind of rate this out of 10 for me? Um, you know, the, the cop, if, if we're, the cop's trying to be helpful, and they might say, see, I don't know, I mean, it, it, we've had this guy before, and this, this is, like, a 6 um, out of 10. Okay. Yeah. And then, exactly, like, what time? Um, maybe, like, 15 minutes ago. Okay. So, now I'll go to associated signs and symptoms. Um, headache. Um, patient denies. Uh, blurry vision. Denies. Um, cloudiness or confusion. Um, they deny it. Okay. Any noticeable deficits? Um, you kind of notice the slurring of the speech, but, uh, yeah, that's it for now. And no, uh, obvious head injuries? Uh, no obvious head injury. And no probable hypothermia? Correct. All right. So then, um... Do you have any allergies? Um, they say uh, they don't know. Okay. No known allergies. Um, any meds? They um, have a list of medications, but they, they haven't been taken in their medications. They, they haven't been able to fill their prescriptions. Okay. And any past medical history? Um, they say that uh, they have um, the pressure. They have high blood pressure. Um, they have the sugars uh, for diabetes. Um, and that's all they can remember. Okay. So then we go on to question specific to complaint. Um, are you seeing or hearing things that aren't there? Um, the, uh, they, they say, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want to hurt yourself or others? Yeah. I mean, they, they say like, like they just heard from someone else that, that Trump might be president and they um, don't think that they have a way out. There's no point to living anymore. Uh, they feel like no one, they won't have any of this, no more resources, no more support, and and uh, they, they are in fear of, of life. Okay. Um, so I would ask the cop, um, do you know if this presentation is normal? If it isn't, what's different? It's, it's kind of on par, but it's like kind of exaggerated to a different severity, to a higher severity at this point. Okay, and do you know the last no normal? 
No, I mean, it, the bystanders say he's been going like at this for 20 minutes. Okay. Um, have you consumed any drugs or alcohol? If so, when and what did you consume? And, and the, the patient would say, um, like, just several bottles of whiskey. Whiskey. All right. And do you have any history of diabetes? What have your blood sugars been? He says yes, but he, he doesn't check his blood sugar. Okay. And do you have a fever, any open wounds, or indwelling catheters present? Um, they, they have uh, an ostomy bag. Okay. Where feces is collected. Okay. And so we go to our focus assessment. So pupils are per? Um, yes. Um, drug or alcohol paraphernalia or drug or alcohol is used? Um, you, you don't notice any paraphernalia. Okay. And then um, incontinence? Um, you do notice incontinence. Uh, active seizures? No active seizure. Blood in the mouth from biting of the tongue? Uh, no blood in the mouth. Obvious head injuries? No obvious head injury. And then uh, discoloration on the abdomen? No discoloration noted. Okay, so then we go on to uh, blood pressure? Um, you have uh, 160 over 82. Uh, heart rate? Heart rate of 90. And ventilatory? 20. And then you did mention uh, pupil cell pearl, and then my blood glucose? Um, glucose is... Uh, 42. All right. And then my secondary SBL2? Um, 94. All right, perfect. So in this case, I'm going to say he's hypoglycemic uh, due to his blood sugar being low at 42. Yeah. Um, so what, what, are, what are two aspects of the focused secondary that, um, that we would want to still perform? Uh, we want to... So I think, I think you looked and then we didn't feel or... Um, smell yeah so when we get to that then we look for we palpate the hair for any hair injuries okay and um, then not we, noted and then we want to go to the um pms yeah so i'll check his pupils i mean i'll check his uh pulse okay they're present and then i'll ask him to grip my fingers and he does and now i ask him can you feel this on his right hand they do and i can you feel this on your left hand they do and then we'll do this in a stroke scale would you do on the feet as well Yes. Okay. <laughs> and we'll do the feet, top of the feet. Okay. Check the pulse. Yep. Uh, can you wiggle your toes? They do. And then can you feel this on your right foot? They do. Can you feel this on your left foot? And they do. And then the Cincinnati stroke scale, be fast. Yep. Uh, so uh, I'll ask them to stand up, see if he has any balance. Um, they are able to stand, a little wobbly, but yeah. Okay. And then eyes, I'll check for if they're dilated, pinpoint. Um, they're pearl. All right. And then facial droop. Um, not noted. And now I'll tell him to close his eyes and hold out his arm like he's holding a pizza. He's able to. Uh, and then we'll check for that slurred speech, which he is present. present. And then the time, uh, which yeah, they mentioned. Like 20 minutes ago. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll do the um, finger to nose test. So okay. I'll tell him to touch his nose and touch my finger in three different spots. Okay. So what are the three spots? Uh, f f uh, right in yes. front of us. Okay. Center right. and then Side. right and left. Yeah. So center, right, and left, and then with both hands. Oh uh, yes. Okay. So uh, he complies. And so I'll start it off with my first hand, his left hand. Okay. And so touch your nose and touch my finger. He's able to. He's able to with both hands. Okay. And then also with the LA stroke scale, we'll have him group my hand uh, one more time. And he's able to. And then we'll check for any skin conditions uh, um, if it was probable un hypothermia. Unremarkable. All right. And then we'll smell for any fruity or acetone odor on the breath. Not present. Alcohol on the breath. Present. All right. Now, uh, now what? So you were, your field impression was hypoglycemia? Yes. Okay. Uh, so now we go to our treatment. So in this case, um, he can follow commands, correct? Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but... If, if you're, if, but if you're questioning it, what, what can you consider? Um, so if he was able to um, swallow and follow simple commands, I would give him 15 grams of oral glucose. But since he... I'm not feeling very up to that um, since it's, I'm not able to, uh, I would give him one milligram of glucagon intermuscular. Okay. I was showing this far. All right. 
Um, and so uh, we don't suspect any opioid overdose or anything like that. So we're not going to give any meds on that. So I would give him the one milligram of glucagon. Okay, sounds good. All right. What what other potential causes could be causing his current status? Uh, so since he has slurred speech, it could be a stroke. And what else can cause slurred speech? Um, seizures. Okay. Um, what about drugs or alcohol? Yeah, drugs, yeah. alcohol. What did you think about the incontinence? Um, I know that's typically for what? Uh, seizures. Yeah. And, and in this case, uh, could it be present due to alcohol? Yeah. Yeah. Or the low blood sugar. Sure, sure. Yeah, low blood sugar. <laughs> oh, and, and I guess my point with the scenario, you did great. Um, my point with the scenario is uh, that several things can be present. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, the point of the neuro deficit assessment is to utilize a checklist and rule certain things out. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I'm sure I can come up with one that has all of them. You yeah. know, and, and we, we could have easily thrown in hypo, hypothermia or, uh, hypothermia in there mm-hmm. as well. Um, do you have any questions about it? Uh, no. Okay. But that that is a way to look at everything. He could have been waking up from a seizure. Yeah, yeah. Post-ictal. Yeah. Um, what? Um, so with that, I do have a question. Would that make yeah. him not aware that he had a seizure? He didn't have a seizure. <laughs> you tried to trick me. Well, that's the point. That's, that's, that's the whole point is like several signs and symptoms can be present uh, and they may or may not indicate several conditions happening mm-hmm. at the same time. Um, I mean, imagine, imagine uh, someone having a stroke that came from hitting their head. Yeah. That came from falling down from having a seizure. Mm-hmm. That came from low blood sugar. <laughs> <laughs> And and these are the mental games you have to start playing with yourself when you want to prepare for something like this or even like something like the final practical. Because when we start introducing head trauma, we're we're now dipping our toes into trauma, which, you know, you're you're, we're setting you up for the final practical, which is inclusive of both medical and trauma. But after this um, next unit for trauma, not only are we just going to be aware of head trauma assessments, but every body part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 